This is going to be an extension to the previous video on uploading a file from an Ionic application to a Node Express server. Uh, in this video, we're going to cover doing the same thing just with Nest.js. So for all the other theory and creating the front ends for this application, I'd recommend checking out the previous video or the associated blog post with this uh, video tutorial. Uh, for now, we're just going to focus specifically on creating this simple Nest.js server to handle uploading files with Malta. So to get to the point uh, that you see on screen, you'll need to create a new Nest application. Uh, you can do that by running the Nest new command if you have the Nest CLI installed. If you don't, I recommend that you go ahead and do that. Uh, although this isn't specifically required, we have also created a module to handle this functionality called uh, photos. And you can create that by running the nest G module photos command. This just helps to separate the code out into different modules and organize things a bit better. And we can also create the controller, which will define the route that we are uploading to by running nest G controller photos. So we create a photos module and a photos controller. So if you do all of that, that should get you to the point that you see on screen, you should have a photos controller inside of a photos uh, module. And this is the actual implementation of the file upload functionality. So all we're doing here is defining an upload route so we can upload to uh, wherever our server URL is forward slash photos forward slash upload. And then this is what will handle uploading the file. So to do this with Nest.js, what we need to do is use this use interceptors decorator. And so what this is going to do basically is just add some extra processing to the requests that are coming into our route here. And Nest.js also provides something called file interceptor. And so what this is going to do is pull the file out of the request. And then we can say what we want to do with that. Now, uh, Nest.js actually uses Malta behind the scenes, so we don't even need to install Malta in this example. Uh, all we need to do is supply the Malta configuration options here. So we're saying that the uh, file is going to come in on the photo field in our form data, and then in this configuration object, we say that we want to we want Malta to store that file in the uploads directory. So you don't need to create this directory if it doesn't already exist, it will be created automatically when you run your server. And then we have the actual uh, route handler method here, which doesn't actually do anything in our case. We can get a reference to the file that was just uploaded by using the uploaded file decorator that Nest.js also provides. Uh, but in this case, we're just logging out whatever value it is. This doesn't actually have anything to do with actually uploading the file into the uploads folder. So let's just see that working. If we take a look now, you can see we don't actually have an uploads folder in our project. Uh, one important step to take is if we want this to interact with our local Ionic front end application, we do need to call the enable cause option in the main.ts file. And you will also need to make sure to actually run your uh, server as well. So we're going to create a new terminal here and we can start our Nest.js server by running npm run start dev. Uh, the dev option will just uh, reserve any changes we make. So it's a good option to use when you are developing. So if we keep an eye over here, you can see that the uploads folder was just created when we uh, created our, or rather when we ran our server that got auto created. And now if I try to upload something to this server, which will be at uh, on port 3000, so localhost 3000 forward slash uh, photos forward slash upload, that is where we are sending our post request to uh, for the actual implementation details of this app. Again, check out the previous video or check out the link in the description to the blog post. Uh, but let's just take a look at uploading a file. So you can see right now the uploads file or the uploads folder is empty. Let's choose a file, I'll upload this PNG file, hit the upload button. And once we hit the upload button, you can see that the file gets added to our uploads directory here. And we're also logging out the uh, uh, details of that file, but that flashed by really quickly. I don't know uh, if you saw that or not, uh, because the file has changed, the, the app is now recompiled. Uh, but let's just go upload another file as well. Upload this one, you can see the, the file details flash there just for a second. 
and then the file is also uploaded to this uploads directory. Okay, so that's how you handle uploading files in a Nest.js server. This is a pretty simplistic example, but there is a lot more you can do with all of the baked in uh, file handling that Nest.js has uh, if you want to. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, do feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.